Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So as you all know in your Comet K 2024, a digital cal calculator will be provided. So in this video, I will be telling you the detailed step by step procedure how you can use the calculator. Okay? So this calculator will be available in your in the mock test that is given in the Comet K website. So we will be using that as a reference and the same will be available in the exam also. So now I will be telling you the detailed step by step process how you can practice the use of calculator in the mock test uh, like that is available in your Comet K website and the similar calculator will be available in your exam also so you can use it in the same way. Okay. So now for practicing first you have to open the browser and in, the, in any browser you have to just type Comet K then you have to go to the first website that is Comet.org. Now once you go to this you will be directed to the Comet K official website here you have to click on exam details then about exam. Okay. Now if you see here left side if you scroll you can find mock test. Now there are like 11 mock tests you can select any one. After that there will be like click on any mock test then you will get it this sign in page. So click on sign in here. Okay. Now you can see click on the next button and then you have here I am read all the instructions and you are ready to begin will come. So click on this. Okay. So now this is your page where your uh, mock, your exam interface your CBT exam will be in this like this interface. Here you can see a small calculator on the right top corner. Right. So click on this and now you can see your calculator is available. So it is a normal calculator. So you can see all the numbers are on this side and you have all the operations like division, multiplication, subtraction and addition. So if you want to add any numbers just you can click them and take plus sign and another two numbers and then click on equal to. So you can see in the second column your answers will be visible. Now one more thing that you should see about square root is so if you want to find the square root of any number first you should type the number then you have this square root button to click on it. So for example 36 square root of 36 will be getting around 6. Okay. So this is how you, your calculator will be available in the exam so you can use it. So I will recommend it for small calculations and all do not use this calculator because it will take time to type this all. So if you have some big numbers where you have to multiply or division you have to use square root op operations. So in those cases please uh, I will recommend you to use this calculators. Okay. So in this way you can use it in your exam. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you have found this video helpful. Thank you.